Welcome back to Seat Time. I'm Woody and today we're going to install some small parts that are going to make some big upgrades on the Sherco. But how awesome is it that we get to be in Colorado doing this? I'm getting ready for the Shady Burrow Enduro. So I'm going to put these parts on to help the bike with a little bit of performance, but then also to recover from the fractured scaphoid. So the doc said that the fracture is gone, but in the long run, the mobility is not there. The strength is kind of there. So we're going to be in Installing some parts, hopefully it makes it a little bit easier for me, but if nothing else, we are gonna have a darn good time getting seat time. Let's get these parts on and let's go ride. The first part that we're gonna install today is the smallest part, and it is a throttle cam from ZRT. Now you're like, why is a throttle cam such a big part, right? Why is it a big upgrade? When I originally got the ODI lock-on grips for my Sherco, they had just made the Sherco cam. The problem is, is the stock cam that came on the Sherco had a cross country and an enduro side. Well, the guys at ODI did not know that and they only made the enduro side, so it's very tame. ZRT figured that out and made the cross side. So this is gonna be a little bit more aggressive. I've always thought that when I did this, at some point that the bike seemed to get tame, but I wasn't educated enough at the time to figure that out. So we are gonna put on this ZRT throttle cam that should be more like the original cross throttle cam that came on the Sherco. Let's get this one off. I'll show you guys the difference and then we'll get this thing going. Press it in. There it is. Nice and snapped in. You can tell that if this were to have been where it was at, not only is this further out, so there's a wider profile, but it's also a little bit more that way, so less aggressive. So we should get more quick pull off of throttle and we'll get crazy with it. Brian put it on wrong, so let's get that switched. Throttle cams installed, but now I'm gonna put some bar ends on. But this leads us to our next small part. So let's talk about it. This is the Enduro Engineering bar end that I've been using. But what I found is that a company called G-Rip or Grip has come out with a little bit more robust bar ends. There's also a little bit of a knurling on there. So in case your hand is on the outside, that you get a little bit more grip. So this is the quarter inch and this is the half inch. Now I'm actually gonna install this half inch. This is where I have to interject to fill y'all in on my avoidable mistake that I am making here. What G-Rip is, isn't a traditional bar end. It's more of a bar cap. I noticed this while putting it on, but honestly completely spaced. These are supposed to be installed by moving all of your controls in a quarter or a half of an inch so the G-Rip wraps over the end of the bar. I could have avoided my installation mistake and a lot of headache later on if I had taken the time to watch their installation video. I didn't and you'll see later on how this comes back to bite me in the butt. If y'all have seen any of my race footage on the Seat Time Clips channel or even from this channel, you know that this button has gotten in my way before because now the bike is on but if you hit this now the bike is off and if you're in the middle of a race and you run into that and turn it off the bike dies and sometimes you freak out and have no idea what's going on and it takes you 30 seconds to figure it out not fun so i called up mitch at hard enduro outfitters to ask about moving this button somewhere else and he told me Someone has actually made a part for that. So we got Steve's Custom Cycle has got this awesome little part, a very small part, but for me, it's gonna be a very huge upgrade because it's gonna get this power button off of my handlebars. So clear up my handlebar space, and I also will not run into it anymore. I don't know what dirt bike rider's right mind uses Imperial bolts, but here we are. So we got a screwdriver that fits in. and get this thing going. It is actually gonna fit with this cool little hole that goes down here in the frame. We're gonna move that bad boy and we're gonna get on to the big addition. Well, the small part big is of the parts addition. We'll tighten that up really later with uh, when we get an Imperial Allen in our hand. For right now, we can still move this bad boy down there. Well, you could tell there was a little bit of finagling to make it happen. But there we go. We've now moved the power button 
out of the way. So fingers crossed. Nothing's ever gonna get in the way of that thing again. We'll see what that throttle cable does. This was not how I expected this video to end. Of the four parts that I wanted to put on, I was only able to put on three. But that's kind of the way that life goes sometimes. So the problem that I had was the Mako 360 that I got, I got the lower perches, right? The Ryan Sipes perches, but unfortunately they don't fit on the Sherco. So there's a little bit of an issue there. That's okay. I've already talked to Lance at XE Gear. We're gonna get it sorted out. It sucks that I don't have that here for the burrow, but it is what it is. So let's talk about the three parts that I did put on. So when it comes to probably the smallest upgrade, but smallest part, it's gonna be the ends, right? The, the G rip, the grip bar ends. This is what I was alluding to earlier. Due to improperly installing the G rip bar ends, I created a scenario where during a hard layover on Cathedral, the bar end was slammed into my throttle. I had to whip out a tool and get it sorted. I think it's safe to say that when I come to Colorado, I may go back to full wraparound handguards, mainly because my ability to ride in the technical rocky terrain isn't up to snuff and I need to prepare the bike for my tip overs. From there, the next big upgrade would be the handlebar attachment moverer. That's what I'm gonna call it from now on. Putting that just there above the gas can and being able to move those controls off of the handlebars, not only are the handlebars cleaner, but man, I didn't hit the power button at all riding in Sargent, and that's what I'm looking for. I wanted to remove that power button off of the handlebars because I do hit it, and I've tried to find ways to do that. Luckily, Mitch at Hard Enduro's Outfitter told me about this part. I put it on, super easy to install, except for the fact that it's Imperial Allen head instead of metric, but here we are, it's a dirt bike with metric everything, obviously, except for this one bolt. What is happening in my life right now? Now, the biggest upgrade that really was the throttle cam, being able to go back to that cross style, a little bit more aggressive throttle cam on my 300 Sherco, man, that changed the way that this bike rode and I love it. So if you're looking for any kind of upgrade like that, in this case specifically, it was the ZRT throttle cam. If there's small adjustments like that that you want to make to your bike to personalize it, remember, it's your dirt bike. What do you feel when you're riding that makes you uncomfortable and then talk to people and ask, are there small parts that will make big upgrades to make you more comfortable? That is what I did with these three parts. Now granted, being able to add the Mako 360 would have made me way more comfortable with my hands and the wrist stuff that's going on, but here we are. So what did you guys think? What small parts have you added that have made big upgrades for your bikes? And then of course, are you ready to see the Shady Burrow video? That's where we're at. I'm about to put my gear on. We're gonna go get seat time here in South Fork, ride in two days. Uh, it's a little bit less than 200 miles now, but we're gonna have a dang good time doing it. So if you guys enjoyed any of this or you wanna get ready for the next videos that come out, make sure you subscribe, give this thing a thumbs up, swipe up, send it to the DMs, all the things that the kids do these days. If we don't get a chance to see you on the trail, at least we'll see you on the internet. Enjoy getting some seat time. Peace.